dead. You guys have been following the channel for a while. You know that I've had a uh, powered kayak for some time. It finally died on us. So this was the uh, Minn Kota 30 pound thrust. A little bit of rust here on the uh, bullnose rudder, but that's just the, the rudder system. The actual uh, motor itself actually didn't look all that bad. It worked great until it didn't anymore. So we've upgraded. So this is the uh, Newport Vessels. 55 pound thrust, saltwater, freshwater trolling motor. Once it goes in salt water, you're not voiding your warranty, which is awesome. Um, does have a, uh, a three prong propeller here, so you've got the three blades on it versus a two. It says it's 23 pounds. I don't think that's true. It feels closer to 30 pounds. Uh, the last motor was around 15 pounds, give or take. So I think there's gonna be a pretty noticeable difference here with the, uh, the weight. <laughs> What's kind of sketching me out is uh, how well this rail blazer uh, is gonna hold up against this thing polymer setup you see that thing's leaning pretty good there that post so we'll see uh how well these things are made i mean glocks are polymer those things hold up pretty well so uh we'll see how strong this plastic really is this is going to be kind of a sea trial day uh you know we do got some good bait so we're definitely going to be fishing there's no way i'm going to go on the water without a fishing pole so uh, we're doing that but we're going to kind of give it a quick little run here uh, i only plan on fishing for a few hours today uh, i'll be actually out tomorrow going out with my buddy sean um, so we're just going to kind of throw some bait here around these mangroves, see what we can get, and um, hopefully catch a fish. So appreciate you guys tuning in. The big one, that'd be cool. Here we go. All right, guys. About to get her underway so here we are on the water we're gonna fish these mangroves here we're gonna probably stay on the right side of these mangroves today and maybe hit some of this backcountry area again we're kind of doing a sea trial here with this uh trolling motor so we're gonna see how this goes but so far super quiet so we're on speed two right now we're just on speed one and i mean we're moving all right so i think we're gonna try to give it some juice here and uh, just see how well it moves so right now we're at speed two so we're going to crank it up to speed three here, Let's see how this goes. So we're cruising, cruising at speed three at the moment. And if we go speed four, kicked it up a notch. I mean, you don't feel a huge difference between speed three and speed four, to be honest. So it doesn't really feel like anything, anything crazy. And you know, here we're going to cut left. So steering's good with this bullnose rudder. I'd um, say about the same as a Minn Kota. And then we'll go speed five. Oh, okay. So, yeah, a bit of a jolt there. Once you hit speed five. You know, it moves. Uh, definitely faster than the Minn Kota, I'll say that much. You know, obviously 55 pounds thrust compared to 30 pounds thrust. I mean, everything from one to four feels pretty pretty mild but yeah once you hit speed five it's like you're getting to some whole different territory there all right so this is gonna be a good area for us to uh hop out and make some adjustments here to the uh to the motor yeah we're gonna go ahead and set this guy a little bit deeper in the water and kind of push it away from the from the kayak too i'm digging the, the uh new motor i uh, can't really give a an opinion on if i recommend it or not or anything like that only time will tell that but all right i went ahead and disconnected the uh the motor from the battery just in case you know you don't want to accidentally hit that while you're working on this thing so I'll go ahead and adjust this collar right here this is going to adjust the height of the motor okay and this bottom one actually adjusts how easy it moves side to side okay so we've got it basically set as deep as it'll kind of allow us but if i turn this all the way this way it does hit the bottom of the kayak you know so what this means for us is we can't make super tight turns we're pushing out this way so if we're trying to make a hard left or if we're trying to let's say reverse it back that way definitely don't want to do that um you're going to scrape the bottom of your 
kayak and also probably ruin your prop too so but that's a good thing to know um this is going to be better geared for a lower mount than what i'm running here so you know this is a 24 inch shaft the uh, Minn Kota was a 30 inch shaft and i think the uh, 30 inch shaft was kind of the better better area for something like a, a rail blaze amount so something to keep in mind uh, as you can see the rail blaze sits a little bit higher so that's going to be our biggest issue there but this guy's cool we're still going to use him regardless and uh, we'll be able to buzz buzz through the uh, the flats with it so i'm still happy with it uh so far we'll see how uh, how it holds up so cool let's get to fishing all right so this is our first kind of real spot for the day it's uh kind of i mean we're still in the wind quite a bit but we've got deeper water here so already getting bit but i'm thinking we're gonna find sheep's head and hopefully reds along this uh mangrove line here so i just dropped a shrimp down there got hit pretty quick so i'm thinking they should be stacked up along these kind of deeper deeper cuts there we go fish on so fairly quick on that cast with a zebra minnow little red fish so it's gonna be our first fish of the day Took the zebra minnow and he wanted it so bad he swallowed it we're gonna see if we can pop that hook out of there i'm not sure that we're gonna be able to we might have to cut it out of him whenever you gill hook him like that just cut it as close as possible and you're just gonna have to send him because if we rip that hook out he's gonna bleed to death so first fish of the day baby red see you later baby red Ooh. <laughs> wow that spinner shark really freaking came up on us huh Could you imagine if you did that like right next to the kayak good god knock me out all right guys i think i know what we need to do i mean now that we've got the uh, trolling motor kind of situated and we know it's not going to fall off the kayak just yet anyway we're going to uh shoot across the bay i think the uh water might be a little choppy out there but with the uh, the wind coming from the northwest i don't think it's going to be terrible so I think we're going to try out there for a little bit. The spot that I'm planning on going to, I want to say is about, probably about a mile, maybe a mile and a half from here. So this will be a good way to kind of test the battery life. So we're going to see how quick we can get over there. Probably won't run it on speed five the whole time, but we're going to run it. Let it spread its wings. And so what time is it now? So it's 11.14 now. And we're going to see how quick we can get there. Let's do it. Okay, so we made it to our spot. It's actually it's a little rough out right now. Uh, got a couple of dolphin over here chilling with me. We're uh, gonna give it a few here and see if we can get something. Hey, buddy. Oh yeah, that feels like a good fish. Oh. No, no dolphin, no, no, no. Look, this guy, he almost got it too. He was so close. <laughs> he wanted that snapper so bad. You lazy dolphin. You can get all these fish all you want and you want this one. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. So it's a good thing we got him up quick because this guy is just lurking, waiting for a free meal. So it's not a bad snap there. It's probably a good 13 inch or so, give or take. All right, so first keeper fish of the day, mangrove snapper, right here in the, uh, right here by the structure. It's not terrible out here, so. Oh, that's a good one, that's a good one. We gotta keep them, keep the dolphin away from them. Dolphin's moving in on them, dolphin's moving in on them. Whew, man. <laughs> that's why i bought a brought the uh heavier tackle out here today because we're fighting dolphins good lord all right snapper number two that one was on the uh, zebra minnow so they're biting these guys pretty good he's a good one he's probably 14. Let's see what we're working with here yeah 14 almost 15. 
So I've got my hand behind them back here. So yeah, we'll call them 14 and a half. So good fish right there. All right, so rough and windy day out here, but we're getting fish. So awesome, fighting the dolphins. Let's go. Throw them in the bag. Yeah, so this dolphin has not left us this whole time. He's been by our side. Oh, there we go. Got another good one. We got the dolphin already moving in on it. Bring him up quick. Whoo, look, you seen that? <laughs> He's right there. Good God. This guy doesn't miss a beat. He was on that thing. He was on that thing like these things are on those mud minnows. Another snapper, not as big as the last one, but he's keeper size. This guy is still chilling right next to me. It's funny, I feel like I'm in like direct competition with an apex predator of the ocean right now. It's like a race against time every time you hook a fish. Now the problem is if I hook a good fish that I've got to fight for a minute, man, I might not have a chance against this dolphin. Fish might become his. It's held up. Oh, good God. He got crushed. He got crushed. There we go. All right, snaps are back. I was about to do an outro here, but we got got some snapper action. I wonder where they went. They're gone for a hot minute there. Came back. All right, cool. So that's snapper number four no dolphins in sight i didn't have to fight with them on that one so i just kind of had the, had it chilling on the rod holder it's about to do my outro there and he smashed so here we are all right snap number four get this guy out of here got hook all caught in the net fins all in the net oh and he <laughs> i don't know what that is he just diarrhea on me though straight up it's like one last middle finger before he goes into the uh, into the box, I guess. Well, it's okay, buddy. I got something for you too. So that's gonna be our fourth snap. Hopefully, we can hit number five here. Uh, this guy's pretty good size. Uh, I'm kind of concerned whether or not anything got in my beer. Um, smells okay. I guess we'll give it a try. <laughs> but um, okay, so we'll just give him a quick measure just for giggles. Yeah, he's about 12. So we'll uh, bag him up, bleed him out not in that order bleed them out then bag them up and then uh probably throw a couple more minnows out there just see if we can get one more and then call it a day here so cool beans another snap all right guys got some sort of free feeding frenzy going on here i think they're jacks but I don't know, I want to be a part of this. This looks like fun. So here, we'll toss right ahead of the school. See if we can get one to eat. There we go. Oh, no, it's gone. He was about to hit the bear hook. Do you see him chasing it? Might as well just have a quick run with a jack while they're here. See if we can maybe get a big one. That'd be cool. Here we go. All right, get a drag screamer going. It's been a while since I hooked into a jack for ball, so. It's taking us for a bit of a sleigh ride. Man, they were just crushing it. I mean, pound for pound, these guys are some of the best fighters out there. You know, it'd be cool as if it wasn't a jack and it ended up being like a slot snook or something. You know, we definitely would have seen some jumps or something. Pretty nice, uh, pretty nice jack there. There he goes. He didn't like the kayak. Not a bad West Coast jack there. And that drag's actually pretty tight too. These guys are some powerful fish, man. It's like all muscle.
pretty cool to see considering we're on the way in and we're already called it a day. I already did my outro and there he was. Cool. Fun little fight right at the end there. And you do your circles, buddy. And he's about out of gas. Fun fight on light tackle. Again, pound for pound, man. These guys are some heavy fighters. I mean, it's just sheer muscle on this guy. So, but, yeah, we'll get the hook out of him. And we'll uh, go ahead and call it a day here. We're on our way back into the launch anyway. So, good fish. All right, Jack Craval. He's a thick one, too. So, they get a lot bigger than this. On the uh, east coast, those guys are working with some giant jacks. So, we'll go ahead and put him back. Cool. So, that's it, guys. Got the Jack Creval. Got a little redfish. Trolling motor's working great. So, I don't know if really 55 pounds of thrust is, you know, really necessary on a kayak. Get you there faster. Uh, and, you know, kind of honestly, in these conditions, fighting a wind like that, uh, it definitely moves a lot better than the Minn Kota, so I'll say that much. If you're, you know, just trying to go with something that will work in any condition, uh, 55 pounds of thrust is a good bet. Not really necessary in my opinion, though. You know, I think 35, 40, 45 might be the sweet spot. So again, you're talking about 10 extra pounds on this thing. But it moves. It got us to that school of jacks real quick. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, calling it a day. Appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe. If you have comments, questions, concerns, or if you just have feedback, let me know. Uh, take care, stay safe, love one another, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.